France 24's Benedict Pavio joins me now live from London. Benedict, the coffin is going to be moved to Westminster Hall later today at precisely 2.22 p.m. local time. What's the significance of that 2.22 p.m.? So that final leg of the final journey of Queen Elizabeth II, her coffin will indeed leave on a gun carriage at 2.22 p.m. from Buckingham Palace, her London residence. And the reason it is 2.22 p.m. precisely is because that is what the military, in their full dress rehearsals at dawn, uh, b before anybody here was really waking up, have checked. And it takes exactly, at a solemn, slow pace, 30 eight minutes to go from Buckingham Palace uh, to Westminster Palace. And we understand that King Charles III, uh, along uh, with his siblings, Princess Anne, the Princess Royal, Prince Andrew, Prince Edward, and King Charles's two sons, the next in line to the throne, now Prince of Wales, uh, Prince William, along with his younger brother, Prince Harry, are amongst uh, the people who will be following on foot the coffin, which will be on a gun carriage uh, pulled by the King's uh, artillery. And on that uh, coffin, there will be a crown of flowers and there will be the imperial crown. So it will be a very solemn affair. Big Ben will toll and there will be uh, also a firing of guns every minute. Benedicta, as you've been speaking, we've been seeing these images of the mall, of these thousands of people who have turned out again for this leg of Queen Elizabeth's uh, final journey. journey. Uh, tell us a bit more about this process that will be leading up over the next few days to her funeral, a state funeral on Monday. Well, what's extraordinary is ever since we heard that first medical bulletin, cast your mind back, Jeannie, to last Thursday at lunchtime, then at half past six here on France 24's English Channel, we looked at Buckingham Palace, we saw that flag uh, go at half-mast. Ever since, people have been flocking to Buckingham Palace along uh, the Mall, that's that long avenue that goes from Trafalgar Square, well known by Londoners, by people across the world, that leads up to Buckingham Palace, uh, the very one along which there will be this formal, solemn procession this afternoon. And what is extraordinary is we have actually had an awful lot of rain. And despite that, many, many people going, indeed applause, as the hearse went into, what, for one final time, into Buckingham Palace. And what we've got is uh, we're going to have the lying in state uh, of the Queen's coffin, uh, will, which will be on a raised platform called a catafalque, so behind me in uh, Westminster Palace. And crowds have already, queues have already begun forming. That is why we're on this side now of the Thames River, because that queue is expected to be possibly 24, 30-hour wait. People will get wristbands. Uh, they'll be able then to uh, leave the queue, go and get some food, uh, go to the loo if they need to, have a short walk and come back. Uh, they've got sun cream, they've got uh, umbrellas, they've got all the gear that they need. And people are either coming in families, uh, there'll be special disabled access uh, queues, uh, and some people are coming on their own and making friends in the queue because they feel it's a sense of history. They want to mark their affection, their respect for the 70-year reign and the way in which they say the late Queen uh, conducted herself and that life of sacrifice. So it is an, a very, I wouldn't say jolly, because at times it's sad, but very friendly atmosphere, a mixing of, of course, huge security, uniformed police, military, extra security uh, people, making sure people are all right. Uh, and also, of course, uh, many tourists uh, flocking here. So we could have up to 400,000 people. It's going to be quite the next few days till the state funeral next Monday, 19th of September. It certainly is a key moment in British history and in U.S. Uh, uh, the world history of Benedict. Thank you so much for that, Benedict Pavio there, reporting for us uh, from London.